Back in the day, college football conferences and college conferences in general were made up of schools that shared the same ideologies and were located near each other. Nowadays, we see conferences spread halfway across the United States, and in the near future, we could see them spread even further. While many like to talk about why a certain school shouldn't join a certain conference because the travel cost would be too high, there's one conference at the Division I level that just says screw it. That conference is the Pioneer Football League, a Division I FCS conference. The Pioneer Football League is a football-only conference whose members choose not to award athletic scholarships. Most of the member schools are private schools, with Moorhead State University being the only public school in the conference. The 11-member conference consists of members as far northeast as Marist, located in Poughkeepsie, New York, to as far south as Stetson University in Deland, Florida, and as far west as San Diego with the University of San Diego. The conference was formed back in the early 1990s when the NCAA passed a rule change that required Division I schools to conduct all sports at the Division I level by 1993. Charter members included Butler University, the University of Dayton, Drake University, the University of Evansville, and Valparaiso University. The University of San Diego joined in 1992, and the league played its first season in 1993. According to the league's official website, from the league's inception, it was a proponent of the creation of a non-scholarship football classification within Division I and adopted the moniker of Pioneer based on the intent to become the first league in the new division. The PFL's original membership was comprised of NCAA Division I universities that previously sponsored intercollegiate football at other levels. The six original schools which played in the 1993 season had previously sponsored football at the Division I, Division II, and Division III levels. In 1997, the University of Evansville downgraded football from the Division I level to the club level, reducing the league down to five members. Nearly a decade later, they looked to return back to the Division I level, but would decide not to pursue the endeavor. The league stayed at five member schools until 2001, when it nearly doubled in size, adding Austin P, Davidson, Jacksonville, and Moorhead State. This led to the conference splitting into two divisions, the North and the South. The North Division consisted of the remaining five charter members, as well as Austin P, while the South Division consisted of Davidson, Jacksonville, Moorhead State, and San Diego. The winner of each division would play in the conference championship game, with Dayton beating Jacksonville 46-14 during the first title game and beat Moorhead State 28 to nothing the following year. In 2005, Austin P decided to leave the conference, so the conference decided to return to the round robin style of play. I just want to take a second and ask if you are enjoying this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe for more college football content, and also let me know which conference your favorite school plays in in the comment section below. In 2007, Campbell University announced it was going to join the Pioneer League, followed by Marist announcing they would join the league a few months later. Campbell remained in the Pioneer League until 2017. In 2013, the league expanded even more with Mercer University and Stetson University announcing they would join the conference for the 2013 season. The league was now going to have 12 members and earned an automatic bid into the FCS playoffs. Mercer played one season in the Pioneer League, going 10-2, setting the Division I win-loss record for a startup program. They then jumped to the Southern Conference for all sports including football. In November of 2017, Presbyterian College announced they would join the Pioneer League for the 2021 season. The conference would once again see changes in its membership in 2019, when Jacksonville announced it was going to discontinue its football program. The most recent change came in 2021, when the University of St. Thomas, check out my video I did on them a few weeks back, in the description below, joined the conference. The conference currently sits at 11 members and spans over 10 states. For the most part, Dayton and San Diego have run the conference, each having 12 shared or outright league titles. Drake has 6, Butler has 4, Valparaiso and Jacksonville both have 2, and Davidson and Marist each have 1, but Davidson also won the 2021 Spring League. The only team to have won a game during the FCS playoffs is San Diego, who won their first round matchup in both 2016 and 2017. The league overall is 2-9 in the FCS playoffs, which makes sense since there are no scholarships offered for football. Before they were granted an automatic bid to the FCS playoffs, they competed in the Gridiron Classic, where the winner of the Pioneer League and the Northeast Conference played each other. The Pioneer Football League won three of the four matchups. Before that, they played in the FCS Consensus Mid-Major Football National Championship from 2001 to 2007. Due to how far apart some of the schools are, the Pioneer League is one of the most interesting college football conferences currently a part of the NCAA. Although some of the schools have to travel more than the other schools in other conferences, the amount of money they save by not providing scholarships 
far outweigh the travel costs, which makes it feasible. I do not know if this is fully true, but a lot of these schools were kicked out of Division 1 and Division 3 for parity, but wanted to keep their football programs going. I think the Pioneer League is such an interesting league to look at and shows how crazy college football can be. But what do you think about the Pioneer League? Is it an interesting idea? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe for more college football content, and check out one of my other videos the algorithm knows you will love right here. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, remember to embrace the grind.